we go back 26 generations. The family was uh, started to be in the business in 1385. The Antinadia project came about uh, because there was a request from the family to showcase our involvement in the arts. We were involved with this uh, restoration of the Lunetta of the Della Robbia, the Resurrection of Christ. After that we started to look for an artist that really could respect and dialogue with this beautiful piece. I think I became an artist because I had the chance to be very lucky to meet extraordinary people both in the present and in the past. I can look and talk with the people of the past through their work. Art Production Fund is a 501c nonprofit, and we have a mission to commission and produce ambitious public art projects. And most recently, we produced Champ by Zoe Buckman on the Sunset Strip. Champ opens up a dialogue, and it brings important conversations to the surface. In this piece in particular, I'm using boxing, which is bringing the masculine into conversations about the female body and about combat and about we are in a mode of fight right now as women in this country. I think it's very important to work on the side where people can appreciate what you're doing directly. All my work is in this way a public work and it's never something private. Public art is very much a part of my worldview. Great art should be for everyone and the message shouldn't be dumbed down for the general public. I try to make something that is pleasing to the eye to draw you in, but then has powerful or um, challenging message that I'm trying to get across. It's not easy for certain generations especially to understand contemporary art and to do a blend of old and new. The most important thing is really to be respectful of what has been done in the past. There is no probably correct definition of beauty and artists are always trying to make a new definition. I think it speaks to the power of public art. It can really have an incredible impact and ultimately shift people's perspective on what's possible.